How's it going lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and I have got some exciting news because we are talking about First Contact Entertainment and we're talking about PS5 Virtual Reality together in the same sentence and it's getting exciting up in here, perhaps even moist some would say. This is going to be a quick video because it is just a little bit of a crumb, bit of information to go off. This was brought to light by a person on Twitter called Zuby Tech. That's what he goes by. I'll link his profile in the description. He happened to come across the First Contact Entertainment's uh, job listings that they had on their website. And for the rest of this, I'm just going to read from Upload VR from Jamie Feltham's article there, uh, where he puts it all into a ni nice, neat little package and bundle for me to easily digest and read us and you know we'll go over the important stuff so I'll just pop it up here firewall zero hour dev hiring for next generation virtual reality project so firewall zero hour and solaris offworld combat developer first contact entertainment is developing a next generation project for virtual reality as spotted by Zuby Tech on Twitter. The developer currently has several positions listed on its website many of which point to a new virtual reality project I've highlighted the important stuff here. Most telling is a listing for a lead engineer, which says the studio is seeking someone to help us create the next generation of high-end virtual reality games. If you're thinking about the next generation of high-end virtual reality games, I mean, surely you're thinking of PS5 VR. That is like the big generational leap that everyone's kind of waiting on right now. Other listings, make mention of a triple a virtual reality project and work on a next generation consoles or work on next generation consoles uh, the rest of this now is just speculation which is what we can do by ourselves so we don't need that but i will link this article as well in the description if you want to take a look for yourself first contact entertainment getting me very excited Immediately, what comes to mind, obviously, which probably comes to everyone's mind, is the potential for Firewall 2 or Firewall, some kind of sequel to Firewall or a spin-off or a continuation or whatever. I think that's what I want the most, but, you know, we've seen them spread their wings, we've seen them do Solaris off-world combat, who's to say they won't go and do a brand new IP? Who knows, you know? Or maybe, like, really expand upon Firewall and do something like a big battle royale type thing you know we're going to have greatly improved hardware for them to work on so they don't necessarily need to keep it four versus four it could go any direction again complete speculation uh, obviously i'm going to want to know what you guys want in the comments below do you want more of the same but better in every way in terms of you know the first firewall we were missing the flashlights that were there originally we were missing the night vision mode i feel like all that stuff was supposed to be there but the psvr one couldn't handle it especially the playstation 4 you know, not the Pro, the Pro could probably do it, but the PlayStation 4 was really holding that back. Or would you like to see First Contact, you know, move away from that kind of thing and maybe do something completely unexpected? Let me know in the comments below. So again, there's not really much else I can say about this other than, you know, things are really starting to ease up now, you know? I feel like Sony would be very, very silly not to have First Contact on board for the launch of the PS5 VR headset. And even if it's not necessarily launch, day and days than like in the launch window or to make sure it comes to that headset so like what i really don't want to happen is that this game is like a pc viewer only title i don't think that'll be the case i think if sony allow that to happen it would just be foolishness i think firewall did very very well on ps viewer you know i think that game charted very well i imagine the seasons and whatnot did very well it was probably the most successful multiplayer on ps viewer outside of free-to-play titles like Rec Room or something like that. So yeah, Sony would be very, very, very silly sausages uh, not to snap up this opportunity. And I'm not talking about buying First Contact or Entertainment as the studio, although I think they should definitely do that as well, seeing as they just bought Fire Sprite, so why not? Uh, but definitely be involved in this IP. And if it is Firewall 2, then it's guaranteed to be a PlayStation thing because PlayStation owned that IP, as far as I understand. Before I end this video, uh, let me thank Patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as I speak. Thanks to their help, this channel is continuing to be nice and moist. In particular, the top tier Patreon supporters, Tradition, Pete Hawkins, Daniel the Pumpkin Patch Kid, and Crumb. Thanks to their support and their generosity. 
If you'd like to join the Patreon, the link to that will be in the description as well. Finally, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of these videos. You can find him Decepticon.com, link to him in the description. Also, and with that, I will end this video. Hopefully brought some moisture back in your life. I feel like this a dryness inside me has been dampened with this news and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing more. Fingers crossed whenever they show off the PS viewer 2 or PS5 viewer this game will have be ready to show or like a teaser or something just to, just to get us nice and hyped. That's what I'm hoping on. Anyway. Goodbye. Petrified pumpkin.